today i am going to give a review of sadak 2 a very short review and it might contain spoilers i saw this movie last year and i actually wanted to make a review about it but it didn't seem like the time to it didn't seem like anyone wanted to even watch the film but as you know ali is my favorite actress and i was really excited to see it i really liked the trailer and i thought it was going to be a good movie but rather i was disappointed with the movie now to me, in terms of direction and cinematography, I thought it was a beautiful film, gorgeous. But I think the problem lies to me is that the movie scenes seem motivated and shot oriented rather than character motivated or story motivated. Because I would say, oh, that's a beautiful shot. Oh, they set this up really nice. Oh, I love the way this looked, but it didn't add anything to the storyline nor the character's journeys. So other than, you know, direction and cinematography, I wish they spent more time on the actual story. In terms of the acting, I really enjoyed Sanjay Dutt's performance. I loved it. I thought he was great. He was the shining light for me. I loved his performance in the film. And then Aditya Roy Kapoor, I wasn't bothered, nor do I feel like I have to praise his performance right now. It doesn't stand out, but it wasn't bad. And then Ali Abad, she had moments of greatness, and then she had moments in which she was overacting. Even at the end, there's a moment she's giving a speech. And at the end, I almost felt like the people should have been clapping. I felt like someone should have said, and the award goes to. It just felt like she was giving a performance. And honestly, I felt like this was a flounder, a drop in her choices. Because to me, I think overall she picks good movies. I think overall she picks good roles. And this was her daddy's film. And I was like, oh my gosh, your daddy did this to you. <laughs> At moments, I would go, daddy, no. Her own father's film. I just wish there was a better film. And then not only overacting for Malia, but at moments, the other two characters, the mother and the stepmother, strong overacted. But, <laughs> but I feel like in another film, it could work. Or maybe they just harness their, their acting a little better because I feel like they are good actors, but they were just doing a little too much. Goose and Grover showed up missing a hand for no reason. I don't know why. For me, I gave this film a two out of five. Some people say this is one of the worst films from last year, and I can understand. But for me, it wasn't the worst because it had some positive aspects. And number two, a one is usually painful. This movie wasn't painful. It really wasn't. Instead of being annoyed, I was actually amused. I was amused as to how bad it was and for the reasons why it was bad. Even the death of the stepmother, which was supposed to be this big moment, it was hilarious. It was very funny. And it's not supposed to be funny. Or even the action sequences, they weren't very good. You could tell Sanjay Dutt was moving at a slow pace. But the action scenes were short. It's not like those action movies which have an excess of action that is just past the point of bearable. This movie was bad, but it was bearable. Even the runtime didn't wear on me. There are some movies in which you feel the length. I don't think I really felt the length of this film. So it's not a good movie. It really isn't. It's a bad movie. But one of the worst movies of last year, mm -mm. I sat through worse than that. Definitely sat through worse than that. <laughs> Bye.